Okay, we got everything back now from the machine shop. The cylinder's been bored. They did a little bit of decking on the cylinder top just to true it up. Got the head back. Clean the valves up, replace the valves. Uh, we put the new cam in it, the new stage one hot cam. Still need to go in here and reset the valves before we put the head back on the cylinder. We'll get that done before we put it back on. It's a little easier to get into. Our next step is is the piston. We're going to measure everything, make sure everything's the clearances are right. We're going to take and put the rings in the cylinder. We're going to measure, index the rings, make sure all the fitments are right. Um, most of your pistons that you order, they'll come with a spec sheet. And the spec sheet will give you all the information you need as far as your clearances and your gapping on your rings. Alright, when setting the index on your rings, always start with your top compression ring. Put the ring in the cylinder, as you see it's in the cylinder now, it's a brass looking ring. Take the piston, put it on top, push it down a little bit. What this does is it's putting the ring completely square in the cylinder. Once the ring is square in the cylinder, you can take it out. At that point, you can measure the gap. As you see the little end on top of the ring, always, if the rings have a stamping on top, they always face up towards the top of the piston. I've already indexed this ring and it's already set. Now we're going to go to the secondary ring. Alright, when setting the rings on the oil expander ring, as you see here, I painted the two ends where they come together white. This oil expander always seems very sloppy when it goes around the piston. I've seen some guys actually clip off a little bit of the ends of one. You don't want to do that because what that's going to do, that's going to cause your oil rings to be able to float around and uh, believe me the engine will smoke so as a trick take the ends and paint them so when you put them on the piston you'll be able to tell that uh, the ends hadn't come apart from one another as you go together okay the wrist pin keepers these little rings here uh, when you go to put these in make sure that the gap of the ring faces towards the top of the piston as you see on our piston here there's a little chamfer built in that melt that helps uh, getting the clips in but um, when you do this make sure that you always have the gap always facing up like so reason being is these engines they run such high RPMs these little keepers can sometimes spin and if they get in the right spot they could uh, pop out cause you a lot of engine damage okay once you get your rings the gap set you got your indexing all done. It's a good thing to take you some engine oil and soak your rings. I have a little tub that I dip the top of the piston down into to penetrate these rings very well with oil. One thing you don't want to do is put the engine back together with dry rings. If you do that, chances are you're going to wipe out your cylinder and you waste a lot of money. Be sure you got your indexing right, your gapping right. Make sure your oil ring expander gaps are touching and not overlapping. Uh, and at this point, we have one ring in, one wrist pin ring, wrist pin ring in, and uh, we're ready to install it in the bike. Also, when installing the piston, some manufacturers will stamp an arrow on top, as you see here. The arrow is going to face the front of the bike or the exhaust valve, which on this bike is towards the front. All right, now we got the new piston in place. Got our new gasket in. There is an O-ring that belongs in this chamfer here. Um, I typically leave that out until I get the cylinder on the piston. Because uh, when you got to jiggle the cylinder around and get the ring set, um, it sometimes there's a little crazy movement in here and you can drop that O-ring into the down to the crank of the motor. Also, don't forget your cylinder alignment pin. And put your new gasket. At this point, I've checked everything. Rings are indexed, uh, they're old or lube. Be sure and wipe you some lube in the cylinder. We're ready to put the cylinder on.